Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play E6. Last time, we got rid of the Great Vortex. And this time, we're going to figure out why the music changed in Port Remorge. Roman soldiers, this isn't good. Well, one thing I've been holding off on is upgrading. Let's go ahead and tamper my sword. It's at least my... Uh, electric -y sword. So anyway, there isn't really anything you can do here in Port Remorge. But at the Retta Village, you want to warp to the entrance. And... Well, looks like this place has been rummaged. There's Chief Ward. Down for the count. Ugh. Hell. Haha, <laughs> I'd rather you've not seen me like this. After the Great Vortex vanished, a fleet of ships appeared on the horizon. A throng of Eurasians, clanned in steel, advanced upon the city. Village. I didn't trust half of the villagers to Corval, and they were able to escape. But the rest fell into the hands of those Eurasians. Ola. Ola and Isha were among them. Yeah. Supporting Chief Ward's weight on his shoulder. Add all helped him to his room. Nice. Sorry. I was defeated by that long haired man leading the soldiers. What long haired man? His hair was dark as night, but darker still was the sword of black Imolas he held in his hands. Our Emma lances were a little more than wood to his great blade. I fear that the sword may be. Chief Ward fell unconscious. I had hoped that it wouldn't come to this. I hoped not either. The Roman fleet must have begun their invasion the moment the great vortex disappeared. I hurried to town as soon as I was able, but it seems to have fallen under Roman control. Er and the other Redden have been captured by the Romans, too. Even so, I didn't expect anyone to be able to wound Chief Ord to such an extent. It's, this is just awful. To tell you the truth, I'm amazed he is still alive. It just goes to show the Rita are t tough old lot. Though I'm sure your first aid played a part. At all, can I ask you to leave the Chief to me and go back to Port Remorge? I think Er is being held on a warship docked at the town's wharf. No doubt the other villagers who were captured are beginning to are being held in the same place. And frankly, you're the only one with any chance of saving them. I will take that advice. So head back to Port Remorge. Um coast probably is the quickest place to get there. And well, number one, I recommend changing up your equipment. Um, let's see. Blood and nail, that's what I normally go with. Um, you don't really need much gold anymore, and... There's only one thing gold's really used for at this point, so I'm gonna say don't keep the Thieves' Glove on anymore. Um... Yeah... Come back to Roman. Oh, I see. I see that look in your eyes, Adol. It's not what you think. I knocked down those duty Romans a peg or two. Yeah, sorry. I didn't need my voice there. Oh, if it isn't the old Ladoc's daughter. I thought you lot had made a run for it when the fleet invaded. We wouldn't dream of running. We just finished the repairs to our ship and I moved it away from the that inlet before the Romans found us. Now we've got it docked someplace they'd never think of it. Ha, ah, clever. So what's Captain the Doc's plan of doing doing now? Actually, he sent me here with a message about just that. What would you two say to a chance to script those Romans' plans? Oh, that does sound interesting. Tell me more. The Reda managed to avoid being captured by the Romans. And by the Romans are on the sh our ship. At the moment. The Reda that managed to avoid being captured by the Romans are on our ship at the moment. 
we have had a we had a chat with them and they are in favor of saving the others who were captured that is why i came to ask for your help mm, well that certainly would give us a chance to get back at them still they have the advantage in terms of military strength i can't see us coming out on top if we try challenging them head on heh <laughs> Oh, there's no way we tried challenging them head on. Here's the plan. First, you make up some plausible reason to invite their boss to the banquet. The man in charge is Admiral Arteris. He's your standard glutton from what I've heard. Not the type who would to turn down food. Anyway, once he's at the banquet, Dad and the other pirates and the Redo will create a diversion. A nice big one, big enough to get all the Romans on the ship away from the port. That's when the few of us will sneak on forward to rescue the Retta who've been captured. Hmm. It sounds risky, but I'm not seeing a better way. Why not? Count me in. My pride as a merchant of Altago is on the line here. I'm not going to back down from a little bit of risk. That's why I, I wanted to hear. Okay, we'll leave Admiral Agris to you. As for you, Adol, I was hoping you'd join me in sneaking onto the ship once the diversion's gone underway. You're strong and nimble, so I think you're the best one for the job. So you've got anything you need to take care of, get it to it. Once the opportunity starts, we're not going to have a time to get stuck. One thing I can actually show you, though, I said it before. Um, while, yeah, you don't really need anything money, if you want to, there's actually a really good item you can buy unlimited of with money. Um, so if you want to, on the Roman ship, go ahead and equip the Thieves' Glove. Because there are some good money prizes on there. Anyway. Go ahead and start. I'm ready. I don't think I need to do anything else. Sounds like a plan. First, we need to decide exactly. Man, I had a really good voice for this guy. I don't know if any of you played Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, but I was going to give him the voice of Senator Armstrong, but I can't impersonate that to save my life. That's what I imagine him sounding like, though. So, he wants to invite me to a banquet, does he? And he claims to have a business deal even more profitable for me than selling off those subhumans? Altogian merchants are stubborn, arrogant little cretins, but that boss might be one of the few with a good head on his shoulders. We leave at once. Are, are you sure, sir? Commander Ernst has yet to return from searching for the remaining subhumans. Ha! Leave him be. He was the one who insisted on going after them. I'm sure he'll be kicking himself when he finds out he's missing a chance to, to obtain a fine banquet. Hmm, <clears throat> perhaps I should take Elizabeth with me to his place. Ha! <laughs> There's no need to look startled. I was only joking. Elizabeth had these, has the illustrious task of guarding my private room after her. I'll have to treat her to some feast of Picard when I return from the banquet. Fourteen or so of the liveliest should make for a tender meal. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Excuse me, Your Excellency. There are soldiers guarding the town's northern entrance have come under attack by an armed group. The soldiers were on patrol, attempting to fend them off as we speak. What? Who dares try to oppose us? It's those subhumans who managed to escape. Yes, sir, I'm afraid so. But it's not just them. They're being accompanied by the pirates from before. Pirates? One old, old one eye of the dock and the crew of the Tresmares. I was certain they died in a watery death after the Great Vortex swallowed them up. How did they manage to survive? Hmm, no matter. If those lost excuses for pirate can't defeat us at sea, what chance do they have on dry land? Gather our forces and have them crush the uprising at once. Kill the pirates if you must, but I want those subhumans alive. And I'll have have it all finished by the time I get back from the banquet. This is an East game. And typically in East games, protag good guys don't die. I can only think of like a select few. Hee hee hee, there they all go, just as we'd hoped.
Now's our chance, Anna. Let's sneak on board. That's the best you're gonna get from me in terms of fox girl ass voice. We don't have much time. Let's slip up and start looking. There are two ships docked here at the moment. This one and the flagship connected to it. The Reddit tribe have to be somewhere on one of these two ships. Alright. See ya. Don't screw screwing up and getting yourself caught. Get it. So, there's not much you can do on here right now. So just go straight down. For now. And there's a chest, but you can't open that yet because you need a certain key. Who, who the hell are you? At all. You're intruder alert. You're under arrest. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're sentenced to death. You did it. Thanks, our Adol. As if you had to bother. All right. Good. Looks like you got here first. Why, you can't find a key for the cell? <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll show you one of many nifty tricks of the Ipper family. A simple lock that'll like this will be easy as they're awesome you really got it opened thank you so much I thought this would be the end of us for sure tell me about it last thing I'd expect was to see you right about now hmm I guess I can thank you this one time by the way you haven't seen Ola or Isha anywhere have you you know I haven't come I haven't come to think of it I wonder why those two aren't here. They were taken away by some old guy with a really creepy laugh. He had a mana with the long black hair with him, too. Creepy laugh, huh? That's gotta be Admiral Argus. I guess he was planning on taking the couple's personal favorites with him for himself. N no. Damn it. Like he'll stand it. Like he'll stand by while the Cimmerasian does what he pleases with Ola and Isha. Indeed, we need to think of a way to save him. Sorry, but you need to get out of here right away. Leave finding those two to me and Adol. Well, wait. Ola and Yishar are the pride of our tribe. We can't leave a task this important to a couple of Eurasians. Is being red in Eurasian really what matters here right now? We got no idea just how much time Dad's diversion is going to buy us. You start, by com you start a commotion here and now, and all the soldiers are going to come right back. Is that what you want? No, that's not what I... Okay, we'll do as we're told. But, but, are you sure? Well, she's right. Come on, everyone. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Let me give this to you. I managed to swipe it from that old man when he wasn't looking. The Admiral's Key. We're counting on you, too. Make sure you rescue Ola and Isha. Well, okay. We're counting on you. He's the chief's son, right? Seems like a promising enough little guy. Right. If those two are taken away by Argus, that means they'll likely be on the flagship. So I'm going to focus on searching for that now, okay? Later. See ya. I think one of these rooms... So there's a chest in that room. I think there's a chest up here. Yep. There are four chests on here that you need to collect, but you cannot collect them yet, and I will point them out once we're at them. Alright. Down here. I think it's in one of these rooms. I'm trying to remember. Is it that one? I just want to make sure I know. I know where the other one is. Yeah, it's that. Okay. So, third door from the down bottom floor. Okay. Save right here. We have a boss coming up. Um. I'll use the Admiral's key. Cool. Adol. Oh, no. It's Ola. It's really you. I'm not dreaming. You really can't come for me. Adol, watch out inside the cage. It's, uh... 
It's a f thing. Whoa. It's a frog thingy. All right. This boss, the best way to get through to it is just to use your thunder sword and spam it. This boss is pretty freaking easy, I tell you. All right, let's go. So, yeah, really the only thing it's going to do is spin your tongue at you and just try to avoid its attacks, I guess. And that takes care of that. Thank you so much, Adol. Even you save, even saved your early others. How can I possibly thank you enough? But I, I don't know what to do. Ola clung to Adol's chest. Adol, I, I, I couldn't do what. All I could do was watch while Isha was taken away. I couldn't do anything to stop the village from being attacked. I couldn't do anything to help my uncle when he was wounded in battle. I I'm a disgrace as a priestess. Good, I thought you'd be here. At all, we're in big trouble. What? Well, uh, what the hell are you doing? This isn't the time for that kind of crap. No, no this isn't Adol's fault. The blame would rest entirely on me. I just lost my composure for a moment. Oh, so you're Ola then? Yes, I'm Ola. You must be Terra. Adol's told me so much about you. Thank you for coming to save me. How come she has to be so pretty? Alright, there's no time for that. What I'm here for. Focus. Listen, we've gotta get going and fast. Argus is back from the banquet. Come on, let's move. I'm afraid you're not going anywhere. <laughs> but You aren't the ones who set my presence to the Empire. Emperor Free, were you? And now you think you can let my favorite slaves get away, too. I hope you realize what you've done. What? He, 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 he what will happen to you? My sweet, sweet Elizabeth. My soulmate from the moment we met in the deepest regions of Africa. You did this, didn't you? You're gonna pay for this. Ooh, you're gonna pay dearly for this. Kill them. Kill them all. God, this wasn't what I was hoping. This wasn't how I was hoping it would go. Yeah. Who, who are you? Too slow. What? Where is he? Tell me. I don't know what you're talking about. That stuck up ass Ernest, you know, your second in command. He's on the ship, right? Tell me where he is. He's out with the, some of the soldiers hunting for the remaining subhumans. And he took one of the paler ones with him. I couldn't tell you why. What? Well, why? Damn it. He was one step ahead of me. But please, I'm telling you the truth. Well, let me go. I'll give you all the gold I have. Oh, you don't worry. I've got no use for you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have a nice long nap with your soldiers right there. Hold it a minute. Who are you? And where did you come from? Do, do you know where Isha is? There is no time to talk right now. The ship is crawling with Roman soldiers. At all, Christian, take the girls with you and get out of here. Who does he think he is? 
We're short on time. He must hurry and escape before it's too late. Wait, but but what about your sister? Thank you for your concern. Unfortunately, worry about her here isn't going to help us rescue her. For now, our escape is more pressing matter. We can't worry about Isha once we're back to safety. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, let's move at all. All right. If either of these two die, it is game over. On Admiral Armorus, you'll find that Roman key. Armorus, Armorus. Take that key. Okay. Save. Now, I know they said get the hell out as soon as possible. I don't recommend that at all. These Roman troops are a good grind for Imolas. Money. All that stuff. Up here. The chest is locked. Use the Roman key. You'll get the Starlight Medal. This is a really damn good item. I'm going to go ahead and equip it. Replace Isha's band with this. This will increase your experience gained. You're going to want that right now. In this room, a uh, 10,000 gold. Not a bad prize at all. One thing I want to say is if Terra or Ula get low on money, on health, use a herb. Oh yeah. Use an herb. I recommend taking on as many Romans as you can. Just because you will gain some good experience from these guys. And really, this is going to be one of your last and best chances to get experience. This is the last really good chance to get experience. So I might do some of that just so I don't have to, you know. Also, I need some Emilus. You're going to need a lot of Emilus anyway before the final dungeon. And these guys give a good amount. And I've already doubled it, so I might spend some grind in here for a bit. So we got 10,000 right now. I obtained 10,000, Jay. Up here is another 10,000, Jay. Alright, I will meet you guys once I'm done doing the grind I need to do. Alright. That should be plenty. I actually died one time, so I had to redo everything. Well, not, I didn't die. Terra died. And we got out of there alive. Alright, we made it out. Let's go meet up with Dad and the others. Alright.
Come on, let's go cheer up. That guy said that the Roman commander took your sister away, right? And that, if that's the case, Dad might know something. Zimuth Sanctum. I was thinking, oh, I have to go back to Zimuth, but no, you don't really. Oh, dear to Storm, well, it's been so long since our last leader was in front of you. I wish that I could have been blessed with... I'm not doing that voice anymore. With the opportunity to meet you in life, but it was not to be. Mmm, sis. Sis, ha, ha. Be still, young successor of the wings. Your time will come, yet come. We've been looking forward to seeing you, Master Ernst. Ah, so you've come. It's been way too long since I last saw you, Master Ernst. It's been so lonely. I am deeply sorry for the delay that arose in welcoming you to this land. I hope that you'll grant us f your forgiveness. It matters not you perform more sufficiently for my needs. Creating you was well worth the effort. Oh, Master Ernst, you are just too kind. Ha ha, settle that aside with what happened to him. If I'm not mistaken, I believe he posed a problem to you. Master Geist certainly did pose a problem to us, yes? As well as the one other anticipated, unanticipated threat. He was a swordsman with really red, really red hair, Adol or whatever. I went through all the trouble to wake up, of waking up a monster, and he went and killed it. He defeated my servant, too. And, well, he also managed to obtain the three keys. Adol? Adol the Red, I see. It comes as no surprise that you struggle to deal with him. You know him, Master? I've heard rumors of him, at least. So Adol the Red washed up here, did he? What a strange coincidence. This may prove to be more interesting than I'd anticipated. If you want to take Adol, you're going to have to get through us first. And who might you two be? <laughs> Once a bandit, now a wanderer. The name's Doggy, the Wall Crusher. Are you saying he's one of the wanderers of East from East? That was a horrible joke. I'm sorry. Want to get your walls crushed? Haha! <laughs> now there's a fancy name for a pirate. Hey, hold on a minute. I don't remember ever joining your little pirate gang. I'm just here because we're after the same thing. So you must be the renowned one-eyed Ludok. Or is it merely his spirit which stands before me? Surviving the Great Vortex with your vessel in intact is a feat so astonishing that the latter carries a more convincing... You're not half bad yourself. You showed exceptional skills surrounding our ship with your fleet the way you did. I am honored by your praise. Incidentally, might I ask what happened to the soldiers stationed outside? Heh. <laughs> Oh, they're having a nice long nap, which means you're the only one left. It seems the Romans or armies are only str Roman army's only strength is in its numbers after all. But no matter, that incompetent admiral of and his equally inept men are of no use to me any longer. Perhaps I should be thanking you for sparing me the trouble of dealing with them myself. Oh, it sounds like you got quite the grand scheme planned out with in that noggin of yours. Well, whatever you got planned, you've got no right to be dragging an innocent child into it. Here, here, this little lady's got to be coming with us. Who do you two think you are? How dare you oppose Master and you boorish brutes? Masters kindly leave us to us. No, these men deserve to be treated with the utmost respect. Regardless, while I made it an exception for the key successor, I'm afraid I've no longer got... I've got... I've not... I'm afraid I have no time to be playing with you. Well, I'm done. What the hell is that? That's dangerous trick, party trick you've got there. Ha ha, there's no need to look so concerned. I have no intention on turning this sword on yourselves. In fact, I have a very different target in mind. What are you doing? Statues or not, it's not right to hurt a lady, you know. Heh, this is no mere statue. This is the shell of white Imolus left behind after the sublimination of a divinity. And the final and most vital keystone holding the sh shut the lid of the Ark. But that roll now ends. Oh, what the? This isn't good. 
Ha ha, behold, foolish pirates, the winged people's wisdom incarnate, wisdom incarnate, a mechanism to control the weather of the Atlas Ocean, the Ark of Napishtam.